right hey everybody what's going on how's everybody doing so today we're going to be finally looking at the deluxe edition krampus on the mantle so very excited to go through this with you guys and open them up and take a closer look at them uh very excited um hopefully you guys can score one at fye you don't have to buy one on ebay or anything like that over a hundred dollars because i have seen these things skyrocket and just worth so much money and it's ridiculous um fye sells these for 40 dollars 39.99 um so definitely if you want one go check out your fye or see if you can order it online uh don't pay those crazy prices because <clears throat> most of the stores will get them back in uh, i was lucky enough when i found this to get this one um they had this one and they had the regular krampus on a mantle so Good luck. Hope you, hope you guys can get one at FYE. Don't pay in an arm and a leg. They're 40 bucks in retail. So uh, here's the box. Here's the front. Deluxe edition. 15 and up. Krampus on a mantle. He won't cut you any slack. If you are acting naughty, he's going to attack. So nice little, uh, kind of like reminds me of like a little old children's book type um, artwork on here. So that's pretty cool. You got Krampus himself. You got one of his minions, the gingerbread, and then you got Teddy Clow in the back, which is probably one of my favorite minions. And then a demonic parody for those who truly deserve it. So there's the front of the box. We're going to go ahead and turn this bad boy on so you guys can see. Look at that beautiful boxing packaging. It's absolutely awesome. You go with the Krampus on the back, on the side right there. And then we go into where we got the monster himself on the back. I'll stop this here. So I'll go ahead and leave this just for a couple seconds. So if you guys wanted to pause it and read it, you can. Um, you got Krampus himself on the back. And then of course you got your information and packaging and all that stuff. Now, the one thing I will point out about this is that um, one thing I did not know, which you learn something new every day, but it's hard to believe Clumpy, Dumpy, and Lumpy act so vicious. That's the uh, name of the gingerbread man in the movie, which is pretty crazy. It's funny. As, um, so it's kind of nice to know that the gingerbread men have names as well. Um, but that's pretty cool. I, I, when I read that, I was like, hey, lump, Clumpy, Dumpy, and Lumpy. That's, that's awesome. So let's go ahead and look at the rest of the box. There we go. We got the other side of the box. Just kind of telling you what he comes with. Oh, oh, hold on. There you go. Complete with the Krampus, Gingerbread Man, and Teddy Clow. And then you just got the uh, nice little image right there. So then if you open the box, because there's the top of it, and this opens from the side. The one thing I love about this, one, it's a window box. As you can see there, might be a little bit too bright, but, or not bright, but reflective. But then boom, there you go. The beautiful um, cover art or the poster for the movie from Krampus. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm sure the camera don't do it justice. I'm sure it's a little, maybe a little bit too bright, but it's really beautiful um, having that hand on the snow globe and all that stuff and then you actually have krampus there's the gingerbread man and then there's teddy clow so i'm gonna go ahead and take these bad boys out for you and then we are going to take a closer look at the krampus set so give me one second pop them out and we'll go from there all right guys, so the first one we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with the gingerbread man. So he's really cool, nice and soft. Um, here's a little closer look at him right here. Got the cracks, just some darkening, just looking all old and evil and mean. But I'm glad I took these out of the box because what I didn't know was that on the back of this, boom, <laughs> this is, pretty cute this is funny too uh you have the nice little um gingerbread as they start out at to kind of fool you into thinking that they're peaceful little cookie right there and then all of a sudden bam that's pretty awesome i, I like the fact that they were able to do both sides of them and uh, actually got creative and gave you the nice side and then they gave you the evil side when they start attacking and stuff like that so that's pretty cool that's it's pretty nice to see um there's the him for size 
so if you guys do take these out and put them on the mantle and stuff or on a shelf just you know make sure you're, they're on there pretty good you don't want to lose these these are pretty small but i think that's pretty cool and they almost kind of like the buttons and stuff kind of have like a 3d look i guess you can say especially if you're like looking at it like that but it's all just one one cloth one piece but that's pretty cool so we got the evil gingerbread um where is teddy here we go and then here is teddy cloud now he is super super soft and i absolutely love him he's actually nice and nice and plump in the middle uh nice soft fur very soft he has his little red bow that he always wears Look at his little arms so uh then you look at his face so the face is all stitched in you got the nice drool around those very sharp teeth those angry eyes and um nice little wrinkles and, sh and stuff that you can see to show uh you know that he's growling and gnarling and stuff but yeah little feet pretty cool just a very 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 small version of a teddy bear he's awesome i like him a little closer look at the face for you super soft and then you can always sit him down might have to take some twerking because he's kind of stuffed a bit twerking tweaking um yeah can you imagine teddy claw like yeah but anyway yeah nice and plump very soft you have to warp him a little bit to kind of get him to sit um you know he's a little bit plump in the middle so you want to kind of move that cloth around but when you do get him to sit he's fine all right so now we got him now my favorite part because like i mean come on it's the man of the hour we have krampus so there's krampus right there he's another one that is super soft um he has his um kind of like imposter santa claus suit that he's got on um you have the white going down the white trim um now he's gonna look weird like he's on his knees but that's because he's kind of um got those plastic pieces to keep his legs together so he can fit in the box so you can take those off so i don't think that he's you know warped or anything or, or that's how he comes same thing with his hands he's got the plastic piece in his hands i just don't want to undo him because i don't I'm gonna keep them out of the box, but I, at the same time, I don't want to mess it up to where when I put them back in for display that um, you know he won't be able to fit or it's not gonna look right. But uh, he has his hood. There goes his horns. Horns are soft as well. Nice material. Oh, that's so super soft. And then we're looking here at the face. You got some uh, stitched in eyes. The kind of wrinkles on the forehead there. The nose. And then you got, I got his little snarly crooked teeth there. And then as well, of course, he has to have his beard. There you go with the hands. They even got detail on the hands you can see there, trying to form the fingers. And then his claws. And then as well as, it's kind of awkward, but there you go. Then he has this cute little soft hooves as well. And yeah, pretty cool. Like, I, oh, even his uh, his robe, as you can see there, is stitched in to kind of keep it together. But for the most part, I mean, I think this is pretty cool. Um, I never really care for Elf on the Shelf. Um, but I've kind of started learning to like them just because they have that creep factor. And I've, so, so many things are going through my head on what I can do as far as repainting and stuff like that for Elves on the Shelf. So I might be able to start doing that to have a couple of them uh, especially when i start decorating for christmas it'd be nice to have some evil elf on the shelves but for the most part i mean this krampus on the mantle i think it's worth it uh you get three pieces of one box and it's forty dollars it's not bad um and like i said i hope you guys can find one of these at fye or you can find one if you do online some somewhere around if not cheaper to the retail price because I don't want you guys paying over $100 for something like this. Um, it's worth it for the $40. I think it's awesome. I, if you're really a, a big Krampus fan and you want them, then by all means do what you got to do to get one in your collection. But I'm hoping you guys don't have to pay an arm and a leg for something like this. 
but it is worth the $40 of retail. I like it. Like I said, you got the gingerbread, you got Teddy, and then you got Krampus himself. So not bad for 40 bucks. Because the regular one just comes with Krampus. This one, I mean, you get two extra minions of his. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, he's overall an awesome piece or pieces. And uh, he's cool. So, I definitely recommend him. I think it's a nice little novelty to buy. Um, definitely going to be a part of my Krampus collection that I can put up in the decoration room now. Um, so, it's going to be cool. Because, you know, I got the life-size Krampus. We put up our tree already. So, it's it's looking really good so once that's all finished i'll show you guys but thank you guys for watching i appreciate you um hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it and you want some more videos and i will see you guys in the next one hopefully you guys can be safe out there holidays coming so make sure you're safe and hopefully we'll have some more interesting videos coming soon which we do actually strike that we do we have a mass that's coming in that we're going to be uh reviewing so that's exciting as you can see we love masks here so yeah that's gonna be exciting for you guys so enough jibber jabber i took up more uh, enough of your guys time thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace out